Well, you know, Matt definitely gave us a uh, earful yeah. on great information to um, communicate to our clients. So we're going to talk about, you know, we got two weeks left, obviously before the end of the year. And for me, it's you got three weeks because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that middle of January is Martin Luther King weekend. And that's when I am personally anticipating the market to, to start picking back up and getting rocking and rolling. But I just want to implore people, you you're not off. Okay, you don't have PTO and uh, and um, you are working right now and you may not have a lot of clients right now who are actively, you know, listing or looking at homes. But there are things that we can do. This is my favorite time of year because it is a little bit slower. I have a little bit more time to just sit down every day and pick up my phone and call people and reconnect with people and so forth. So we're going to give some uh, tips on staying connected through the next two weeks with our database. Number one, identify, you should have your top 10, your top 12. Our team, we refer to our top 12. Deliver something to them, uh, whether it's a turkey you know, buy, you know, turkeys are so cheap right now. Buy, buy it, buy 10 turkeys, go to Costco, uh, get those big pumpkin pies, but you know, give them the option. You're going to call them and say, Hey, I'm going to drop by. I want to say, hi, I got a gift for you, you know, turkey, pumpkin pie, because maybe they don't want a turkey. Maybe they're not cooking turkey or whatever the case is, but let, let them know that you're coming by. I don't like to surprise people yeah. with, perishable items and poultry, (laughs) you know, I want to make sure that they, I want them, I want them to, uh, you know, uh, you know, make sure that they know they're coming, but consider put in your group, consider your past or present clients. And what we like to say, you know, how we begin to identify who our top 12 is within our team is who are the top 10 or who are the top 12 people that should and could be sending you referrals. So make the extra effort because this will give you that opportunity to get inside their house and have a conversation with them. Absolutely. You know, this is, so here's what I used to get be taught or be told uh, by agents and and team members. Uh, It was, you know, gee, Todd, I haven't talked to these people all year. Um, You know, how do I even have a conversation with them now? Because as time goes by, we feel as though, you know, that emotional wall gets built and it makes it more and more difficult to want to pick up that phone because you're anticipating the reaction of somebody not liking you. And, but here's the, it's the exact opposite during this time. First of all, everybody's heart, mind, and soul are in the right place right now. Um, if you give them a call and it's honestly not about business, it's about just creating and maintaining a relationship, maybe even saying to them, you know what, Mike, uh, you know, I know I haven't called you this year. It's been a battle in my mind of calling you too often or not calling you at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just wanted to apologize for just being a ghost on your list. And, and you know, and, and I'd like to really do something a little different uh, for 2020. For, but in the meantime, now is a great time for me just to pick up the phone and tell you, Mike, how thankful yeah. I am, uh, you know, that you bought your house for me this year. Um, you know, you're going to end up having to pay your taxes coming up. So I'm going to, you know, do you still, if you don't still have a copy of your HUD one, uh, I'd be happy to get you one because you'll need to submit that so that you can write off the expenses that you paid to get into your house. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But the point is, is that it's just a really nice call. Thanks very much for allowing me to take, you know, your time today, Mike, and look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a mental block when you get to that point. I think it's 100% a great point. And it's it's the problem with it is only in our brains. It's not in the other person's brain. <laughs> That's a good point. I always, yeah. uh, well, I refer it to as Costanzing something from George mm. Costanza. Just act like it never happened. Pick up the phone and call him. You're not asking him for 50 bucks. You're calling to check in to see how the year was, to talk about interest rates being a little bit lower. Find out if there's any friends or family that are, that are looking to make a move right now. You're not, you're not trying to push them into sales. You're just having a conversation. And if you don't have... 12 people, eight people, 10 people that you know well enough to know what they want. They might not want turkey or pumpkin pie. They Maybe they're a huge New Year's Eve fans and they like a nice bottle of champagne. These are things that you should be putting into your business throughout the year. And if you haven't started this process, it's not too late. You've got, like Mike said, you've got a couple of weeks to just check in. It is slower. Yeah. But again, those that had a slow March and April, look at what you did this time last year and do the opposite of that. Right. And then at the very, very least, if you can't come up with 10 or 12, at the very least, do something like this to anyone that has sent you a referral. Anyone that has proven that they're willing and able 
to help you put food on the table and help you make money, uh, you know, go that extra mile. So that's the top 10 or 12. So then the next level is identify the next 100 in your database. And you've got some time here in the next two weeks. Time block a few hours each day this week and next week to make calls and wish them a Merry Christmas, wish them a Happy New Year's. Um, but these conversations, I, I like to kind of lead into, you know, asking them about the past year. Hey, how was 2023? And then what are your goals for 2024? What are you looking to do in 2024? You don't necessarily have to make it real estate related. They might have a business. They might be creating a business. There might be an opportunity there for you to send them business, to do something for them. But when you start talking about people's past 2023 and you talk about what their goals are for 2024, just be prepared for when they reciprocate the question. Well, okay, what are your goals for 2024? And that that now is the opportunity. You know, hey, this this 2024, I really want to help 24 families. Um, you know, take advantage of interest rates go getting lower and 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 whatever the case is. And and then that's your opportunity to talk about your your professional goals and and maybe some of your your family goals. And then that's how you kind of get into a real estate conversation. You don't have time between now and the end of the year to go visit 100 people, but pick up the phone and make some calls every single day. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't do any of this stuff, I honestly don't want to hear you complain next year. Well, yeah, I really I really don't, because you got a couple of weeks to take advantage of this. Yeah. So to next point, you know, what you do today shows up 90 days. It's just real estate. It's what always happens. Uh, Mike, you took my thunder. You know me. I'm a big fan of earning your business. And so if you if these are people that you've done business with, it's an easy phone call, probably your top 12. But if it's people you haven't done business with, they're just you know, people in your database, there may be past friends, acquaintances, whatever, however they got in there. The question is, if you don't know what each of them do for business, shame on you. You know, this is a perfect time because I've always said to people, to, to realtors, and it works decades, uh, and I'm still saying it in my business planning classes, you know, that I'll say tomorrow is, you know, find out what everybody does, find out what the spouse does or the significant other in the household does. Uh, because if you have clients and all of us have people that ask us for different things, and I don't care if it's, you know, it doesn't have to be real estate related. You're not looking for a landscaper or a painter. You know, you might be looking for a new car. You might be looking for something else. And if you know somebody who knows somebody, you know, it's just that much easier. And then you refer the people to them and, and we're the most expensive product. So we're going to get fewer of those relays than we give. So we're going to give four or five, maybe in a year, they're going to send us one. How super is that? Yep. Very super. <laughs> Hi, that's, Kyle. That's, the voice that's what of I God. mean. That's reason. That's, that's reason Kyle. coming in behind that's me. Kyle Fouts. Yeah. So I think it's super. I, uh, <laughs> We, uh, okay, we're done for the day. Yeah, Kyle I mean, says it's super. Broker says it's good to go. We're out. <laughs> we uh, we had a, a little bro- uh, neighborhood block party this last Friday, and a lot of those are popping up, especially because the weather is really nice this year. It's not cold and rainy. It's it's you know it was yeah, a balmy nice. seventy degrees at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> so the neighbor all are, uh, got together, and I don't. I'm not a big neighbor talker. I know that's surprise, surprise, but I don't walk around. Everyone knows who I am, but people do know that know me that I'm in real estate. I had a line of people wanting to talk to me on Friday and I don't actively sell. I just can have a conversation about what's happening in the market. So those of you that are sitting there going, I don't have a hundred people to call. You, you can walk out of your door and start saying hi and talking to the neighbors. I, so my mail, I get the same mail you all get. I get postcards. I get flyers. I get people who drop off door knockers. My mail and my door has been empty the last couple of weeks. The realtors in my neighborhood have stopped working. So this is the perfect time for you to do the opposite Mm -hmm. thing. Get out and start walking around. Look at Christmas lights. Knock on doors. Say hi to people. Yeah, Nick's not a big neighborhood guy because every time he crosses the street, some little old lady from inside the house says, hey, Sonny, make sure you look both ways. So, you know, I get it. (laughs) I have, All right. beard. I have a beard. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're that. You, then you're that kid. <laughs> no, we no, all had one. We, of those we've in seen high those school. kids in the uh, Dominican Republic Little League team Uh-oh, that are careful, six now. foot careful. eight, and uh, yeah. and they're supposedly. Kyle's going to have to give you a uh, a broker disclaimer on that comment. We'll talk later. All right, and so then you should have a ton of other people in your database. You know, I, you know, just wh- wh- however leads have come in, or whether they've been through open houses, or whatever the case is. And so if you have time, then shoot a generic, and I do this, shoot a generic 20 to 30 second video on your phone. Don't mention their name so 
because if you mention their name, then you got to do 800 different yeah, videos <laughs> and just say, hey, this is Mike. Just wanted to reach out and say Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are doing well. Send it to everybody else yeah. in your database. Uh, and then I like to just end it. People are still people are still curious about the real estate and what's going on and, and might say, hey, you know, Mike, this is this is Mike. And I just want to say Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Have you hope you have a great season. Looking forward to 2024. I know a lot of people have just a ton of questions about what's going on in real estate. And I welcome a few minutes to give you, you know, my thoughts on the market or my predictions for 2024. You know, I love the video concept. A uh, guy by the name of David Ryder, he's a lender today. He used to be a realtor for many years. David and I worked together a long time ago in a previous life. And uh, anyway, he sent me a video for my birthday once. And yeah, it was corny. But, it, you know, the point was I still talk about it. it was, it's been at least six years, but it was a video. And he was like one of the first people to start doing it. And it, and it just resonated. So I, I know that a lot of people aren't sending Christmas messages or holiday messages or New Year's messages through video. I think it's a brilliant idea. It, it'll it's it's just that little piece that might, that will help additionally separate you from the pack. Um, but I want to just kind of go back on everything. And like when Mike says, call 12, call 100, you know, it's not to be intimidating. And it doesn't matter if you call 10 or you call 100 or you call 500. You know, each of you are, are wired a little differently and some are going to call more and some are going to call less. But to the point, Mike also said, and Nick followed it up, if you're going to end up at the end of March this next year, and you're not hitting your financial numbers. It's honestly because of what you didn't do today. Mm -hmm. I would also yeah. say I have teenage daughters. As the kids say these days, a video hits different than a form email, Ooh. right? It's it's nice to get your face on their text or in their email. Like, hey, it's Mike. It's not Mike's form letter that went mm -hmm. to every client Mike has. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love seeing Mike's Something face a when I get different. a text message. <laughs> I, I would say for this, if you don't have the capability of shooting and sending a mass video text to a lot of your database, on top of calling, because it is going to be slower the next two weeks, get your CRM dialed in. This is a really good time to do that as well. But you should be able to shoot a video and send it out to your database within about 20 minutes if you have your CRM dialed. That's another excuse to have to send something out. If you sent exactly. it out and even in your video, you said, hey, Nick, this is Todd uh, or not to Mike's point. Don't make it personal. But, hey, uh, you know, this is Todd. I, I'm trying a new service going out right now. Uh, love to have your feedback on it. Uh, but I wanted to just say Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, you know, happy holidays. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. Talk to you later. It's easy as that. And if you need any of the young young kid uh, vernacular, hit up Kyle Fouts. He can talk <laughs> about how videos hit and doing. how the interest rates currently slap, yeah. as the kids say. Three teenage daughters will do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Among other things. Two new words for the for the audience today. <laughs> slap. Well, I'm, I'm glad we're having and it hits different. I'm and glad we're having different. fun now because I took a look at Kyle's material uh -oh. <laughs> this morning. Uh -oh. it's not, this is going to get uh, all right. It's nine. We're going wow. to get into the weeds. Well, hey, it's, it's, it's good to see you guys. It's I'll let you rev. You can go for the next half hour. I'm good with that. <laughs> I mean, need... you did say that expectations Kyle... at the beginning of this meeting were going to be low. pretty low, correct? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm here to. I'm here to, to meet that bar. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm we don't need 30 minutes meter of Mike exceed. doing short jokes, okay? <laughs> yeah, meter exceed. <laughs> For crying out loud. Yeah. They never get old. They, do, they don't. They don't. They don't. Listen, Mike, maybe these don't apply to you, but I get these questions weekly. Ooh. So it's, it's you know. No, I'm not, I'm it's not for, saying. It's for, the people. it's for the people. <laughs> I'm just saying they were, they were, they're, they're serious broker issues. I'm they, not discrediting the quality like of the content. Bit. What I'm just saying <laughs> is. It's just not as much fun as making fun of Nick. I am okay. looking forward to the 2024 Weinstein, uh, <laughs> Kyle Fouts, uh, the battles the that battle. go on yeah. um, right. in the back end. Right. You guys right. are getting to see it firsthand yeah. now. Right. Yeah. And uh, I'm in the middle. Yeah. All right. <laughs> on to the good stuff. <laughs> All right. Kyle, welcome. 